Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and today I have an Aldi haul and I had to check myself out. Yeah, uh, my store is gone. Well, there's many stores around here. My favorite store <laughs> was my favorite store has gone to almost all check out yourself. There was one grocery checker there today and I don't know, eight maybe checkout lines, at least six. Anyway, uh, self-checkout, I mean. And the people in the line all looked like pretty elderly and, you know, getting around not as easily. Anyway, I have a haul and my whole receipt subtotal is $137.13 with $2.20 taxable merchandise. So the total is $139.33. So let's go through the items and see what I got. I read a very interesting article about Aldi and price savings and um, I may make that into a video if you if you think I should uh, just let me know but it tells you which items are worth buying at Aldi and maybe which ones aren't so if you want to uh, hear that one let me know <laughs> okay so we're starting off with now there's just a lot of regular grocery items in here but there are some Isle of Shame too just a dozen eggs. Um, these were $1.69. Not my favorite place to buy eggs because I like to get the ones where the chickens have had free range and all they had is one kind of egg. So I got a papaya. I got this one because it's very ripe and I want to eat this either tonight or tomorrow morning. And and it was the first item I scanned. That's why I couldn't find it. It was $3.46 a pound. It was 0.95 pounds. So it was $3.29. I know I splurge on those. Okay. Next I got this Tuscan Garden Asian style, Asian sesame, restaurant style Asian sesame dressing, which I typically like when we buy those packaged salads that have that in there. So I bought some. I had some from Wishbone once before, I think, and it was okay. It was it was good, but I thought maybe this one might just be a step up. Let's see how much it is. It was $1.99. All right, next I just got a thing of celery. I prefer to get the ones that are about this big than the little like snack packs because I hate it all that waste, but they don't really have it, and this is virtually the same price. Um, but maybe hubby will eat it and it was a dollar 79 and it's heavy it just says one celery stock but it's heavy <laughs> i don't know it feels to me like it's over a pound but what do i know okay then we got onions i really do not care for buying produce from the dry part of the produce i like the side that has like the salad vegetables and the fruit on it but this dry part has a usually i bring home um nets and stuff so but i did i was there and i just wanted to buy you know get my stuff because i want to make a, a a seafood chowder tonight so these are yellow onions it doesn't tell me does it say anything about pounds i, I don't know how it could it says three pounds i don't know how it could be exactly when you got whole onions <laughs> And they were $2.79. It appears there's two, four, six of them in here. I'll probably use at least one tonight, maybe two. Then I got something a little different. My, uh, I think most of the salsa in my fridge has been low and I haven't gotten into it. So uh, I might throw it out. But I, they had all kinds of this, you know, this black label, which is always goody stuff. And they had several kinds of this. This is the mild cilantro lime salsa. They had two or three other kinds. They had a... Uh, something tomatilla they had something else most of them were mild so I thought I will try this because I can't eat spicy foods I've learned that recently with the this diverticulitis that raw onions and um, spicy stuff it was spicy stuff when I had the three worst episodes okay um I couldn't find it for a minute there I thought oh crap I ripped off uh, Aldi I didn't scan it but here it is it's called summer salsa it's their specialties, but they call it summer salsa, $3.29. Yeah, you could probably get a better deal at Walmart on salsa, but this is kind of a specialty one. So, All right, so next is my bag of limes because I like papaya with lime squeezed on it. And I just love lime and I would be willing to put the rest of them in because I only need like one. <laughs> um, how many is in here? Uh, two for six limes. 
put it in my water, put it in anything. I just, like I say, I love lime. And I love Mexican food, so I, but you know, you don't have to have spicy Mexican food. In fact, when I was a kid and I lived in New Mexico and we had Mexican food all the time, and I don't remember it being spicy because I was a kid, you know, I probably wouldn't have gone for that. But now, wow. <laughs> all right, so the limes were $2.35 for six. All right, so that's my first bag from Farmer's Dog, by the way, they send you a, a bag. All right, so my next bag, I'll be back. All right, so I was in the, this is in the Isle of Shame. It's bath bombs, yes. They had these two flavors. This one is cucumber and green tea. I can't really smell it, but the other one was a floral scent, and I do not like a lot of floral scents, like especially rose. I love roses, but not fake rose scents. So these were, are, finally, again, I thought, oh my God, I ripped off all the, nope, these were $4.99, and there are a lot in here, 10 of them. So 50 cents each, basically, right? So $10 for, yeah, $5 for 10 of them, yeah. I got this um, brownie mix just because I always just like to have this in the cupboard, and we used ours more recently one night, and, you know, if I, someone's coming over or something, I can put these together quickly, so I have always had this be something that stays in my pantry. And this is their Baker's Corner. I don't like all their Baker's Corner items, but this one does, does work for me. And it was $1.19. And you just, it's like any other one. You use a couple eggs, some vegetable oil, and some water. So, yeah. That is one of their Baker's brands I do. And then I got three chicken broths. I'm going to need at least one of them tonight for making chowder. Uh, they didn't have seafood broth, so I got the chicken reduced sodium, and they were $1.29 each, and so three of them were $3.86. Then I also needed some potatoes, and I like the yellow potatoes. These are Florida potato, yellow potatoes, but, you know, to me they are all Alaska Yukon goals. <laughs> okay, the potatoes were $4.39 for five pounds. All right, this is one of my favorite shopping bags. It's from the Pink Store in Mexico, in uh, uh, Pal Palamas, Mexico. If you know, you know. All right, since Jerry's not gonna wanna eat a lot of carby things, I'm sorry for all the noise, I got him what I thought were pork rinds, but as it turns out, they're turkey ones, and they're dill pickle flavored, which I wasn't sure if he would like these, if, you know, if these were good. But I got two just in case they were good, and it was definitely in the aisle that isn't a staple. So I went ahead and got two, and if they're nasty, they're nasty, but they weren't expensive. Let's see. Okay, they call them pork rinds, but they're not really. They were $1.69 each, and they are four ounces. Let's open them up and see what they taste like. Ugh, I don't like the smell. They smell like devil eggs. Oh, they smell terrible. You don't taste too bad. Ooh. Oh man. The lime or the dill pickle, the dill will get you. Mm-hmm. And of course they're a little bit salty because you know, pork crimes always are. Do I prefer these over the traditional barbecue? No. But wow. But all if you like sour stuff, you're gonna love this. He likes like uh, sauerkraut and things like that. If you um, like the traditional, uh, you know, barbecue, this isn't going to do it. But all they had today was these and hot. And we're not going to do that. All right, so next are cookies. I like to have a little something sweet after I eat a meal. It doesn't have to be a lot. It could be just two of these cookies. But I do like to have them. And these are from the German stuff. Oh, it says inspired by, not made in this time. And these are Doppelino chocolate sandwich biscuits. And the Doppelino cookies are $3.49. And I'm going to open them and give these a try. And they come in four. Oh, I thought they were four individual packages. There's two individual packages, four sleeves. I think once you open this, they are, yeah, they're all in the same. 
So you can put two away if you need to. All right, so they're just a very small sandwich cookie, as you can see. And they do have the chocolate on the inside. <laughs> Let's go see how they taste after that sour dill. Mmm. <laughs> These are really good. Wow. Packs a lot of punch for a little cookie. <clears throat> it tastes almost like a pastry. It doesn't have the Um, I don't know how to say this. It doesn't have that mass manufactured Keebler sandwich cookie taste to it. Yeah. And it's not as sweet as American cookies. I know I'm making a lot of noise. Let me just stop that. Okay, I'm need another one. <laughs> I got those cookies to go with coffee and I think they'll be perfect. And then I got a second one in case I didn't like these. I got the coconut spread. They had coconut spritz. They had these in three flavors. They're shortbread cookies. Again, in the German. They have a lot of German stuff going on. I don't. I think they already had the, maybe they already had the promotion. I don't know. Because they had it on two end caps and kind of spread about. But when they've been in the height of that thing that they do, at least once a year. I don't know. Maybe they're more than once a year. There's usually even more. Okay. But they actually have a lot of German stuff all over the store sometimes. All right, so it's a shortbread, and it's got chocolate on one side. I like coconut, so I like these. Surprising how much coconut you can taste, even though there's just a sprinkling of it. I'm going to see if it's in the cookie. I don't think so. It's just a shortbread cookie. It's crummy though. So it's making a mess. Yeah, it's really good. The chocolate on it is very nice. Mm hmm. I'm thirsty now. Um, it is definitely candy grade chocolate, I would say. Uh, spritz assortment, $2.99 for this box. All right, so next is from the Isle of Shame, and they had all these margarita candles. They had three flavors. They had peach, and no, this is the peach, peach and pineapple margarita. This smells so good. I didn't really want the blue glass, but it was the one that I liked the best. And then there were two other scents. Sometimes when I sniff it, I get the pineapple. Sometimes I get the peach, but I think the pineapple is stronger than the peach. Which I don't mind. I like both scents, although fake peach can be pretty bad. <laughs> Pineapple is almost always good. But then sometimes I kind of get the margarita smell to it. But yeah. And I just thought it was pretty with the bubble glass. And let's see how much these were. I don't think these were on any kind of sale. But I came around the corner and I smelled it because it was on the end. And it got my attention. Margarita candle. Yeah, $7.99. So watch for these. I'm sure they'll be $6.99 in a week and then $5.99. That kind of, you know how Aldi is. All right. Then I got, these are $9.99. don't have to even look at them. And again, I, if I'd have waited. But these are garden shoes and I needed them now. <laughs> I got a pair of slides on Timu. But they're a little too uncomfortable to use for my backyard because I might be wearing them a while. And I have fussy feet, so I use those in the front for like carrying out the bird feeders or whatever. I run and get in the mail. And then these I'll use in the back door. But I do want to tell you that they came in size 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And on a closed toe shoe, I usually buy an eight and a half. And on an open toe, I can buy an eight. So I actually took one of these out and tried it on in the store. And uh, it was plenty big, the seven and eight. Yeah, in fact, I almost looked to see if they had a smaller size, and I thought, wait, that would be a 5.6, so that wouldn't work. All right, my next to the last bag. This is mostly produce, but I'm going to go through it because of um, that article I read, so just in case I do make a video out of it, it'll kind of make sense. So Jerry likes spinach. He really likes cream spinach the most, but, but he also eats it in a salad. And it is a three cups, it says. No, that's the... It's eight ounces, so three cups is the nutrition thing. 
Yeah, three cups of that goes down to nothing. Flat leaf spinach, $1.49. Then we got um, these tomatoes, the cherub tomatoes. I'm sure you've all seen these. 10 ounces. Yeah, these are in every store now. And they are $2.99 at this time. And then a three pack of bell peppers. I started to go for the green, but you know, everything in the salad is green. And I just love the color. Plus, I love the red ones. Yeah, the multi peppers are $2.49 at Aldi. Uh, all right, so then I got a little bag of asparagus. I buy this all the time and we throw away most of it because it always freezes in our refrigerator. So this is smaller than the Costco one. Costco one is really inexpensive, but we end up you know, throwing away so much of it. It's one pound. And these were skinnier than the Costco ones. I like the skinnier, the better when it comes to asparagus. It was $2.69. All right, so then I got two things of bacon. I need one for making my... Uh, stuff tonight. I just got the regular premium slice at Appleton Farms. There's one of their bacons I like more than the other, but I can never remember which one it is. I need to one of these days take a picture of it when I hit the right one. I don't mind their little bit thicker slice. I don't like their real thick, and I don't like their one that has maple and pepper and all of that on it. Okay, the bacons were three dollars and sixty nine cents each for a total of seven thirty eight. Then I got this for snacking for Jerry. This is something we could definitely make ourselves, but it's just so nicely done with an assortment. You know, once they buy all the parts to make something like this, it ends up probably costing more. It's a, called a panino tray, and it's um, hard salami wrapped mozzarella cheese, which I really liked. I've had these in here. I, I like salami. And then prosciutto wrapped mozzarella cheese. Do not like prosciutto. And then pepperoni wrapped mozzarella cheese. Pepperoni doesn't like me. So these two are for him. This one's for me. But you can see there are three different things. And they're wrapped around kind of like a string cheese. Like I said, you could make this yourself. But it's just convenient. I got them once and they were in individual like packages. And that was just too much packaging for my taste. So I like this little tray thing better. And it lasted pretty long. The only thing is that it, you know, the the meats on it can get a little dry or hard if you don't eat it up. Okay, the panino tray was eleven ninety nine. Yeah, you could definitely, but you know, you might like end up with too much of one thing or not the right size. These are all perfectly sized. Like these are wide salamis and pepperonis. I'm used to them being, you know, a little smaller. But yeah, they're really good though. They are of nice quality. Handy dandy to carrots. I need those tonight for cooking. And they are $1.19 for the baby carrots, which I know is less than the grocery store I normally go to. And they're one pound. Although I do like the grocery store near my house. It's a Publix. It's just really nice. And they do have some great sales and great BOGO. Buy one, get one. But sometimes when you need something for recipes and you're paying all full price, you'll get a better deal at Aldi. All right, then I got a package of three romaines. For making salads and the romaine hearts okay the romaine hearts were two dollars and 95 cents and okay i got some maki foils probably don't even have to look to tell you how much these were but um these have i think it's four in here four little fillets it's 12 ounces it's not a lot but there's maybe there's three maybe there's just three i bought these once before and they were so good that I trust a lot of this black label stuff. Like I got some shrimp with this black label once. So good I went and bought more the next time they had them. And they were actually the next time I think they were clearancing them. Yeah, the mahi fillets, they were $6.99. And this is an expensive fish. And mahi probably is my favorite fish, I have to say. I think there's four in here. Three or four. But we did have them once before, like I said, and they were really good. I was shocked. And then <laughs> I told my husband when I got in the car, I said, don't laugh at me. I don't, Because, <laughs> you know, I'm really funny about salmon because after living in Alaska, there's certain salmons I don't eat. Uh, I mean, like pink salmon, I'll only eat that if we just caught it and you know, and I, I poo-poo it. I eat mostly, well, sockeye, hands down, is the best. But I'll eat, you know, silvers, coho, and, and I'll eat king salmon, chinook. But um, I bought pink salmon. <laughs> it was the only um, 
not farmed fish that was there. This was a wild caught. All the other was farmed or yeah so or it was the fancy on the plank and I don't want that. I just want a little salmon for my um, thing that I'm making my chowder I'm making tonight. I just want a little salmon in there and if these turn out to be turn a little strong which it can um, then it's fine because it'll be in a, a soup stew and it'll be fine. Hey nothing stronger than mussels that's why I don't eat mussels. <laughs> you want to make chipino? I won't put mussels in it even though I know that's very traditional in it. The wild caught salmon was $6.49 and it is 16 ounces. I might have been wrong on that maki that, that ounces I gave you. It's 12 ounces. The four ounces was per serving for the nutritional content. Right, I got a couple tomatoes. I know I got the little ones for salads, but I got these for making some ham. I'm in the mood to have a hamburger, so. These are beefsteak tomatoes, and they were $2.39 for the two of them. And that is it's a product of Mexico, 60 cents a pound. 16 ounces, right? Yeah. And then I got these two five ounce steaks, bacon wrapped, chuck tender filet. Um, we, I had these once before when I was having trouble getting, I think, Eddie to eat and they had a clearance on these or something and I got them super cheap. Yeah, I got them for the dog. <laughs> this time I got them for the big dog, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> um, I have filets, filet mignon in the freezer from Costco because I eat that and Jerry eats the New York. But you know what? These were a good buy. So I thought, you know, let me just get a couple of these and... Um, yeah, we'll give them a try. All right, these are bacon. Okay, now I can read it. 10 ounces. It says $6.99 is what these were. I thought they were cheaper than that, but that's all right. It's uh, 10 ounces. It's two steaks. So $6.99 is so 7 bucks for $3.50 per steak. Can't beat that. Cannot beat that. All right, so that's all that's in this bag. Oh, wait, I feel something moving. Nope. <laughs> Wrong. Cucumber for making salads. All right, so how much is the cucumber worth? Just a regular old cucumber. They were overfilled with zucchini. It was everywhere today. I almost accidentally bought zucchini a couple times. 65 cents. But a lot of the zucchinis were a lot bigger than this, but there were some that were like these size, and I'd look over and I'd go, oh wait, is that zucchini? Is that cucumber? I don't like zucchini. I don't like, which is sad. I lived in Seattle and even in Alaska. Where everybody grows it, it's very popular. But yeah, I don't like any of the squashy things. All right, then they had um, chicken breast tenderloins, which are very nice for, they're just little pieces, you know. And um, they're very nice for, well, for make, breading them and making chicken parm, I'm not gonna do that. But if you wanna do um, like stir fry. So this is a big thing of them. This is, they're $4.29 a pound. Actually, I think they might've been less than that. And there's 2.2 pounds here and um, it was 944 is what it said okay we're down to the last three items <laughs> I gotta hurry because I keep having to change the memory cards all right whole milk was three dollars and nine cent or three dollars and five cents and then the very very last item I got is from the Isle of Shame <laughs> And this was marked down to half price. This had been sixteen dollars, and it, sixteen something, and it was marked down to eight dollars and forty nine cents. It was sixteen ninety nine down to eight forty nine, so almost half price. Yeah, yeah, about half price. And uh, I just needed. Really, I was thinking of one bigger one, but the bigger ones were six ninety nine, and this was eight forty nine. So. I think no they were maybe they were $7.99 I can't remember but they were about the same price for one is for the set that is in the markdown in my aisle Aldi finds aisle right now I don't know if it's marked down in yours but if you take a look if you need them there's two small ones and one big one and they're the clamp on type tops so that's my Aldi haul $139.33 with the sales tax thanks for watching bye bye